I think it's this. Yeah, I just want Castle Black Sun Energy next turn. Good has. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. I feel like Jeff actually loves his chatter. See that chat? That's bait right there. That's bait right there. We're a lot like disobedient cats that he inherited. <laughs> if that if that's not the best, most accurate description of Twitch chat I've ever heard in my life, I don't know what is. Do I want dog to end here? I think the answer is no. Shoves the glass off the counter. <laughs> Thanks for the mini scoots. All right, so and they loki us, and we Enchantress their Quinjet here, so that's a good, good one-two for us here. Your next card becomes a demon. Well, that's lovely. They could have Arshang, but I think that's fine. I'm going to end up with 10 in the middle, and the dog's going to jump twice on the left. We're going to end up with 20 on the right. I think we're going to have a fine spot here. This felt okay. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to assume they don't play for here. Hopefully they guess wrong with their Shang. <laughs> Get fucked, Buttercup. <laughs> oh, Victory. They pulled Doc Ock, it wouldn't have ended well for them either. Accurate. Here's with our personal feeling to be disbelieved. Is it me or is War Machine already forgotten? War Machine. Black Knight was the third best performing deck in the early post infinite stats when we looked this morning. I will I will wager my called shot of people trash talking that card eating crow post Thanos nerf will likely call, come to fruition. It is a very reasonable and powerful thing. I think I'm vibing on this because we'll have cat into dog into let the dog chase its tail. We know their untapped dive during one of the ad breaks. Maybe at the end of the stream, it won't accrue enough data in a couple hours to really be meaningfully different. If you missed the one at the start of the stream, go back on the YouTube live stream and watch it from the start. I'll also, I'll also take a look at um, all the data early slash mid evening and we'll have a formal best decks roundup with the formatted dicely on my youtube channel tomorrow morning on the hooglandia snap side is my is my plan
Could be an Enchantress deck here. Zabu might not be long for this world. Chang's a lovely lad. Let's fix this. Pop the dog around. Enchantress. Predictable. Oh, it's our Enchantress at that. It totally is. Yeah, for the White Palace. Good show. I think we do this, yeah, so I have two free on reveal effects next turn to move the dog with. Yeah, I'll, I'll miss a werewolf bounce, but it gives me an extra bounce next turn. Which I think is better. Thirteen here, dog moves one, two, three times, ends up here. I kill these two, and I have seven, fifteen, twenty-five here. to a Lyoth left plus vision middle, but there were other plays I could have made that beat that. And they're playing the purple part and just coin flipping their game. So, you know, get fucked, Buttercup. Victory. Kicked, we kicked their sandcastle harder than they kicked ours. Is someone's personal opinion not valid if the general majority agrees on the opposite opinion? So the, the problem with is it valid, it's just my opinion, is in, in 2024, we live in what is referred to as a post-fact world, where I will tell you two plus two is four in a base 10 system, and someone will respond to me with, that's just your opinion, man. The, the problem with, well, you just don't think my opinion's not valid, is people think they're entitled to have opinions on just it, rejecting reality for what it actually is. And there are, there are a lot of spaces where people are like, Oh, well, we should just agree to disagree. It's like, no, this isn't subjective. This isn't, this isn't me asking you, do you like pineapple on pizza? And you saying you don't, and me saying I do. 
that's something you can talk about opinions on. That's where, that's where the disconnect is. And people are like, well, you just don't respect my opinion. It's like, well, no, you're just wrong here. This is an opinion. <laughs> Thank you for the absurdly generous tier three and for the 73 months. Welcome back. <sighs> I can't decide if I'm just supposed to play this on one or if I'm supposed to bounce it and then play it over here later. So either way. Is that enough of this? I truly and entirely feel bad for people who can't enjoy pineapple on pizza because it means the palate that you possess can't appreciate a fine blend of savory and sweet together. And truly, your inability to do that is going to cause you to miss out on a bunch of fantastic things in life. Bladed our this what's it called? <laughs> Hit streak! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That's very generous of you. Am I gonna continue to destroy my own deck at this point? I think so. I need to do at least one more to make the the death cheaper, right? And then I wanna jump the dog a little bit next turn. There's three cards in their decks, dude. If I yawn do them again here, I'm still gonna get two more draws. Did you just doc ock? Sure. I think that I think that went in the order I needed it to. Yes, we're gonna get to Enchantress here. I actually miss out on a wolf jump the way this worked out, but that's fine. Jeez. Oh my day. I'm fantastic, honestly. Feeling, feeling good. The gifts are a result of your pineapple on pizza take just to reflex. God bless. Do what I can, do what I can. What's the deck to run did for now? There is not a clear standout best deck in the format currently. I will have a best decks video updated to run Wins tomorrow. To me. Wait, did they? That's freaking wild. They had a Hella randomly generated from somewhere? Where did this one come from? Was it a hub Hella? Victory. That, that's a hub Hella. <laughs> that's funny. Who won the game anyways? That's hilarious. 
but hum, hum hella is fantastic. Any of our ones, please. Any of our ones, please. Yikes! Yikes! This is this is definitely better for them than us. Our deck wants to play on curve, and theirs does not really care about doing so. Do I do this and then finish with Wolf here? I do this and then I Wolf here into Ice Iceman here next turn. Death is also free, yeah, that's true. Gosh, it feels good to play with Werewolf again. It's been a while. I've missed, I've missed you. I haven't z anybody yet, but the rest of what we've been doing has been solid. Uh, I guess we played z a little bit earlier. Oh! Doggo, 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 doggo. Doggo, 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 doggo. Zebo is in the deck. Yeah, that's why we're playing Yandu. Zebo grab bigger cards. Opponent snapped. Going on, Odie. Thanks for the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. Are you okay here? Having the tech cards in the opener is not stellar. A bad location for our pupper. How's the deck feeling? I mean, it's got some best stuff tech cards in it, so it's got a real, it's got a real floor on how bad it can be.
face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir. Why does Werewolf Zemo seem anti-synergistic? Baron Zemo is a cheap unrevealed card that gives you a good amount of stats for the energy that you pay. Are you caught up on board space? I don't think you're I don't think you're usually filling your lanes up in their entirety. I think that's fine most of the time. Here, friends, Mr. Pinch, you would like to have a talk. Oh, we lost the priority coin flip. win this game. Probably dead. Uh, solid YOLO on the Baron. I guess that Danger Room could get it for us too. They could also be beating 20 in the middle though. If we would have, if we would have won the priority coin flip, I could have shanged them here and Baron here, and then we win by playing for all three. All right, gamers, it's about that time. Have some adverts. We're gonna play some more of this one when we get back, since it's playing stuff that I enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. We have, we have our extra sponsor back today, Chad. So subscribers, you get to sit here and watch me play with my wallet. And I, unironically, I'm often doing this off stream. Like I'm just sitting here with my desk in front of my keyboard, popping it in and out. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a good fidget. Ooh, ooh. Playing with myself on stream. Going on, Shoebox. Thanks for the 16 months. I appreciate the the tier two. Welcome back. Get tired of being in Prime Limbo, so I have some real money. I appreciate the content. Thank you. Carl, thanks for up with that Prime for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. You can play with your Wally on stream, but not your Willy. <laughs> Accurate. wondering like how far is Jeff's MMR from the people that grind intensely this person this person finished rank 55 last season grinding over 9100 snap points and they're about a hundred and they started 160 higher than me 150 higher than me for for reference the your internal MMR determines how many stat points you enter with. 
So the more stat points you enter infinite with, the stronger player second dinner thinks that you are. AFK Journey is a ton of fun. I've been playing a bunch of that off stream. Oh, Chad, I punted. I forgot to fill my water bottle during that break because I was pedaling. And now I'm thirsty because I'm pedaling. Monka. Mistakes, mistakes were made. Demon or destroy mode here. Some of the mini and mini are in school gamers. Oh wait, I just noticed we're playing against Thanos. So I could jump the dog all over this turn or I could empty their hand into New York. That sounds appealing. We're looking to dodge Jeff and Vision because we want their New York to be stuck full. Getting shanged isn't a big deal. Big cards aren't a big deal. We have our own shang. We're looking to dodge their ability to move. Uh, first Thanos today. I think second, maybe? They have four cards in their hand, gamers. Let's see if any of them slide around, huh? Oh my god, the wallet link is case sensitive. Sorry, let me fix that. This one this one works. I didn't realize URLs could be case sensitive. Sorry, let me fix fix it, finish this game and then we'll do that. Um I think it's this, yeah? Green Cross Werewolf is good, just draw Zabu every time. Yeah, honestly, people ask me how this deck feels. Your draws where you draw Zabu versus not, you feel, because Werewolf is significantly better at three than four. 
need you need Zabu on two into Wolf on three, or you need one drops plus Beast on three so you can play the Wolf on four and jump it around. typically by the number of stat points you start with or as it fluctuates. I'm typically in the 81 to 8300 star range if I recall correctly. But I also don't know that I've ever paid attention to it super closely. Snap. No one knows the answer to the question is Zemo optimal in a deck like this? This deck is not an established deck. This deck might not even be good with or without Zemo. Nico? Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. for the weekend mission since it has both. I don't really need to optimize my weekend mission time like that. Okay, that was kind of hilarious. <laughs> get, get fucked, Buttercup. Above, above average bear in Zemo chat. Casual, casual. Three, uh, not even 18. It's a three uh, 24, yeah, because of the Stark Tower. and now their hand's going to be empty. Oh, yikes. I didn't think about... I didn't think about them doc ocking us back. They literally have no cards.
So let's say Garnet the opponent had their whole deck last game. Um, I remember. That was something that got Yondu, the deck editor, didn't edit. Thank you for the 56 months. Welcome back. The next card that they play gets destroyed by Nico, by the way. Dying to Nico, anyways, huh? It's still extra funny, though. <laughs> oh, man. Is Baron Zemo doing good in this Dino deck? Baron Zemo's actually a villain, so he never does good. Typically evil. He's performing well in this archetype so far for us, though. But it made more sense to end the wolf on the altar. No, because I want the wolf to end on the altar the following turn. And I was getting a sentinel back to my hand. Man, part of me wants to just do this. I'll do this.
They have Red Hulk and possibly a Shake of Throne here is the issue. I forgot they had the demon. I forgot they had the demon. They didn't have their Shang. I forgot they had demon. I was so focused on my Raptors, I forgot about Hood. It's one of those spots where there's so many things to think about that having to process the extra mental bandwidth of cards, you know, deterministically in your opponent's hand is just so easy to overlook. I really wish Marvel Snap had basic features like every other digital card game and showed you cards you know are deterministically in your opponent's hand. Some of the things Magic Arena really got right. Rune Terra did that too. deck tracker do that deck tracker shouldn't have to do that it's nice when the deck tracker can make up for obvious failings on the part of marvel snap and software but it would be nice if it could just have less obvious failings yeah it's an accessibility feature too call out. Uh, I'm gonna Nico the Yondu and then we'll Yondu Baron next turn. Okay, that's actually hilarious because randomly generated She-Hulk, randomly generated Infidot with Quinjet means I can pass. Means I can just pass on five and then play them both on six. I'm not playing the second Yondu into here because if the second one rolls zero, I'd lose my Zemo, which I don't want. I want to play around rolling zero on turn X here. The Nate, sir. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Copied Lady Sif and took their last card away. That's so funny. Okay, and then now we know deterministically their last card is Red Hulk. How do I, how do I win? speaking this wins every time oh wait shit I have an unused energy I'm actually losing on the left
I think it's this actually. Cause this is this is gonna get four more. Cause I've only had 25 there. You see, we just need average Tardax on our on our six here. Got it. Sweet. Two shots to take their last two cubes. They have our Dr. Octopus here. These have been genuinely very good games of Marvel Snap, yeah. Good back and forth, good interaction, fun high rolls. Hey, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Red Hulk. This could end up being another Clintar. Shang-Chi, we can dodge a ball. Glitch! Papi! All right. All right. So this is a werewolf by night. So Enchantress here, Beast here. Yeah, the audio design on Zebo is superb, for sure. Really, really good. The Doc Ock is dark and full of tears. Oh wait, they have another Doc Ock, yeah? Nico here, and then we could draw a shank for here next turn. Oh, they have the other Doc Ock from our White Palace. Wow, what a crazy game. GG. All right, one more. One more for all the, all the marbles, chip. Doc Ock shall continue until morale improves, yeah. I, ne I needed Falcon sooner so we could have maneuverability. Wow, fuck Trod. <laughs> This is the proving grounds. Ah, uh, I genuinely don't remember. Uh, 
I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna Zebo Sinister London into Beast the Zebo's back. They could magic the London here and get out ahead of us. But if they don't, this is freaking glorious. I don't really care what Conquest match we're playing, chat. The game is fun and interesting. My opponent's playing at a reasonable pace. This is everything I want out of Marvel Snap. Just want to have a good time, okay? I think I'm playing this just to make space in my hand. Wait, actually, um, there's only two cards in their deck. So I actually should just beast these. So that way, um, I only need one more card to get their last card out of their deck, yeah? I'm gonna play this to keep the Red Hulk small. Hold on, hold on, I got there. doesn't get to pull anything. Unlucky. We still get to build them, though. Is noteworthy. What would we have gotten? Watch me like Red Hulk. Unlucky, chat. Unlucky. their hand. Uh, so they've destroyed Doc Ock, Red Hulk, Shang-Chi. They've done Zabu, Cable, Yondu, Iron Lad. They have their Baron, Zebo, and an Absorbing Man. What are the other cards in their hand? Oh, they also cabled us. Our deck only has one card in it. That's a good shout. What a crazy game. I actually don't know if we've won or lost here. They have Demon for over here, and they have our Werewolf or Absorbing Man. Do they have our Doc Ock? They have our Doc Ock. They have our Demon and our Doc Ock. What a crazy fun set. We lost. We lost it. We lost it on this coin flip here. If this Dr. Octopus would have gone right, I'd have, I'd have won the game. Because we'd have gotten their Red Hulk here. Absolutely ridiculously fun set. A sweet deck. That, that might honestly, 
be the most interesting pseudo beer match I've ever played in any card game anywhere. Like usually, usually beer matches are atrocious. That was uh, that was a sweet one. I'm gonna do one more. I got an ad break here in a minute. We're gonna get we're gonna get one more in here. Oh, Zemo is one of the most fun card releases in a little bit. Gonna get Sunspot back on five. We'll get Hood back on five. That sounds fine. I guess we could Doc Ock the Valley on five to fill in. I skip bouncing the ice bag because it means I would brick a draw. I want to bounce the Yondu before I bear it though, so my bear is more likely to grab a large card. Sunspot. Uh, probably some kind of high evolutionary deck. in the middle. Yikes, this Yandu should have gone here. I think I might, I think I might die because I forgot about my Valley of the Hand. I think, I think I still need to Doc Ock here. Am I, or am I supposed to like Doc Ock here and take their choices away? Do I think I can win here and here if I empty four cards out of their hand? Maybe? I guess what are they getting back though? They get back a Magic and uh... No, I don't think I can win in turn seven. I want to do this. I think I just gotta hope to win here and here. Don't worry, I'll be back. Five and four is 13. If Misty doesn't go here, we win the game. Oh my God, their last card is a 615 and I couldn't spend my last energy. Oh, unlucky. All right, I do one more. That deck 
gets terrible stats, right? My gut, my gut says Red Hulk doesn't fix any problems that that deck has. <laughs> well, that's not. Oh, I, that can't be it. There's no stats on it. Exactly what high evolution I needed a lane winning big card. Yeah, exactly. Oh, snap. Very much not solving a problem that they have. It's the Wild West. I mean, does taking a previously B tier deck that's been popular for a long time and shoving a new card into it count as Wild West? Is that is that where we're at? Jen, I feel I feel like I feel like you're exposing how vanilla you are if you're gonna describe that as as Wild West. Opponent snapped. That is that where we're at? Noise Quinjet, you're not wrong. Probably Doc Ock here next turn. Yes. So I, I feel like I'm gonna have to have this conversation with Twitch chat a lot, but y'all need to hear it. The complaints about this mill style deck being bad or not fun to play against are so strange to me, and it's 100% a purely psychological bias. Chat, your opponent Yan doing one of your cards or Baron Zeboing one of your cards is very much not different than if those cards were left stuck on the bottom of your deck in a normal game. Unless your opponent is destroying more than three cards, they're simply showing you which cards you're not going to have access to in advance instead of making you guess which cards you're not going to have access to that game. People hate the feeling of losing to their own cards, but by and large, that's just what it is. It is purely a feels-based argument. It is very much not a reels-based argument. Uh, if I Shang-Chi them here, they go to 17 and I'm still losing. I think it's this, I think it's this. The real card that's perhaps offensive and definitely disrupted in this these type of archetypes like I'm playing is Dr. Octopus is a legitimately good Marvel snap card that's very strong. So like, 
this card, this card is actually taking away resources from you. But I, I think a lot of the complaints of playing against what we're playing against with this deck, this is the card that should be getting your ire. This is the one that's taking away resources you actually drew. Falcon getting them there is hilarious. That's true. That's true. The beast would have bounced it anyways. Good call out. I, li I like this deck a lot. This was, uh, this was definitely the best feeling werewolf deck I've played in some time. Baron Zemo felt like it was an interesting addition to add stats while also the, the neat thing about Zemo in this style of deck with the werewolf is that it's a three energy on reveal that we don't feel bad playing on curve that's also pretty good on the last turn of the game for moving the wolf around. And then again, obviously, the headlighting feature of this deck past everything is that Doc Ock, Shang-Chi, and Enchantress are all incredibly disruptive cards that knock down your opponent's sandcastle in creative and straightforward ways. I tr truly, I think the strength of these these Zemo decks in general is mostly people discovering that this card is really, really good.